still stringy, okay? All right, strings down. So here's an easy way to get the strings out of the celery, because you need to do that. You could pick each one out, but potato peeler is a much easier, easier way to go. And the strings come right out easily. I've never done this before. I tried to pick some out, but man, is it tough. So, here's what I'm doing. Smells good, too. So, my Aunt Sadie says, let's make these instead of cardoons. Much simpler, much easier, and they taste delicious. So, we go through each one. It's a little bit of work, but you know what? If you love to be in the kitchen like I do, it's therapeutic. I could be exhausted. And then I get an idea to cook something, and boom. This has happened to me at three in the morning. It's happened to me, you know, when I get up sometimes, I get something on my mind. Or it can happen at nine or ten at night. So, we're going to do that to all of these celeries. Just got done boiling the celery to al dente. Stick a fork in it and see how it feels. If it goes in pretty easy, it's al dente. So I'm going to drain these, let them cool, then we'll make the batter and get these fried up. Celery cardoons. Make the batter. We're going to start with some eggs, some flour, some pecorino romano right here, some granulated uh, garlic, Italian spices, and a little black pepper. So we're going to get these up in kind of a sticky pancake consistency, a little bit thicker than pancake uh, batter, and then we're going to coat these little puppies, and then we're going to fry them up in some vegetable oil. You'll see how it turns out. Everything except for the flour, then we're going to add this in and get it to the correct thickness. Looking good. Looking good. So we're going to add a little flour in there. We're going to see if we can get that to a nice, thick, pancake -y, more than pancake -y consistency. It's getting there. Okay, a little bit more, and we're going to have it. Hmm. Picked up this bowl for $3.99 the other day at Goodwill. You can find lots of good stuff. Nice, sturdy ceramic bowl. Plus, I got old fashioned, good looking stuff. Yes. And just a tad more, we'll be okay. So, we're outside here. We got a little snowfall last night. It's my Weber grill. We got the nice little sidekick there. And uh, this is kind of the back of my property. And if you walk this way, you catch the bridge that goes over to the plaza next door and the market's there during the week. We have the celery cardoons. We're using celery instead of cardoons. I stripped the strings out of it. There's the batter. And we've got vegetable oil. You can't use uh, olive oil because it'll burn. Vegetable oil has a very high tolerance for heat. And uh, we're just going to grab them and put them in there. So I've never done this before. So holding the camera with one hand, I'm going to batter with one. Oh boy. So we got a little batter on there. Who knows what this is going to look like. Oh boy. No idea. Smells good. I gotta turn these over. Okay, let's see. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Look at those babies. Oh, yeah, boy, they smell delicious, too. My Aunt, Sadie's been, my Aunt Sadie's 92, and she's been making these since I was a little kid. She used to do them with regular cardoons, and now she does them all the time with celery. 
Cardoons are from the artichoke family, but celery's kind of in the same family too. And we Italians uh, will grab most anything and try to turn it into food. Let's see. Okay. Let's go put that here. She did say I should put it in paper toweling. So I'm going to go get some of that. But so far, so good. Ooh. There they are, all done. Look how beautiful they look. Got a bunch of layers there. So while I'm out here, I had some peppers and uh, tomatoes in there. I'm going to try this. They're raw, though. I didn't cook them like I cooked this, but peppers, you can eat raw. <coughs> and uh, tomatoes, you can eat raw. So let's take a look at how these puppies turn out. Ooh, I'm very excited. Okay, let's put some batter on one of these peppers. Drop it in. Grab another pepper. I left the top right on them. Maybe we'll just drop that in there. Let's try a tomato. Wow. Let's see what happens with this. Oh, they don't want to stick. Oh, let's see what happens. Hmm. Okay, the pepper. Got the batter in there. Pepper, all messy, but we got nothing to lose. This is all bonus material. Over. Yeah, that's ah, not sticking to the tomato. That doesn't work. What the pepper? Yeah, not sticking to the pepper either. Oh boy. So I guess I screwed this up. This doesn't work. Okay, and Sadie, let's give it a try. Let's see how these celery cardoons taste. Here it is, right here. Live, let me take a bite. They could use some salt. I'm gonna put some salt on them first. Let's try it with salt. Still stringy, okay? I'm gonna stink them. I had to get those out. Very good, very tasty. First time of success. I think I'm gonna work on getting those strings out. And don't forget to add some salt. Delicious. Another very simple recipe that works like a charm. We bombed on the tomatoes and the peppers, but the celery cardoons are beautiful.